Three surface guys from three states come together to tear down three washers. Here is what they said. All right, so you guys got the motors out? How hard was it? Matt and I had to flip our washers over, get them back up on the stands where he did not. He just went right to town and pulled that motor right out. And still, the, his washing machine still hasn't moved. We've moved ours many times. Let's, uh, let's, let's get a little closer. Let's take a look at the motors. So we got a one horse uh, motor in the Speed Queen here. Uh, what do we got? Half horse. I will point out one difference versus the residential to the commercial. The pulley is made out of aluminum now, and the residentials are plastic. And on yours? I've got 0.4 horsepower motor. Um, and then I do have a plastic pulley, and then they have cooling fins on the oversized pulley just to help keep the motor cool. So it looks like we have a motor that's twice the size here in the uh, Speed Queen. What does that mean for the customer? Well, it's going to work a lot faster, uh, spin a lot faster. It's going to do the job better than these other products here. And also I noticed there's no cooling fan on this one, so why, why not? My best guess is because it seems how you have more power to the motor, you're not going to have the strain on the motor, so it's not Doesn't going to as generate hot. as much heat. Well, and kind of the way it's designed also with the openings here, I think when it's spinning that fast, you're going to get some air movement through there, so it will cool itself. And on mine, it's encapsulated inside of a, a steel container vessel, so it's actually the heat and heat rises so the heat has nowhere to go, so it needs to be able to move that air, or it will overheat because the heat will just stay inside this area where yours is open. The fact that the, the larger motor means it's not going to overheat as much, you can put a uh, heavy load, and you're not going to see any strain on the, uh, the motor. That, that wonderful burnt electrical smell, mm -hmm. that, that's overheating your motor. So, Not this one. So uh, GE's motor mounts directly to their transmission. Um, they have their own stamped out housing. It's just two bolts that hold it to it. And then uh, motor pulley, belt, transmission pulley. So kind of same with the uh, same style as the Maytag. That is put into a metal container. So that's also why they have the larger cooling fins on it, just to help keep the motor cool during operation. Speed Queen's more, uh, located right in the front. There's a belt that slips off, and you'll just slip it back on when you put it on. But there's, again, four bolts where it mounts. So it's a pretty easy motor to get off. And when you're in a modular home or in, your, in a closet or something like that, you're not doing that with these machines. Uh, you're going to fight to get that part off. And this machine, again, hasn't moved since we started. So Putting the belts back on a Speed Queen is way easier too. So their, their pulleys on their direct drives and everything have a tab on them. So you just hook the belt right on that tab and then you can just stand up, rotate the tub and it feeds itself right on. And on my Maytag, the motor is also inside the transmission and to access it is, is two bolts. Uh, so uh, this one to, to be able to service it we have to flip the washer over or it has to go back against the customer's wall. You could possibly damage the house. We could also possibly damage the machine. I've taken a few bolts out trying to get motors and stuff out and you're just not ready for it. Motor drops down. It and falls you up, on you. It smash your yep. fingers on the floor. And some of the homes we go into too, I mean, you know, laying on the floor, you don't know what's on the floor. Well, what's, what's even, been there. Sometimes you can't lay the washing machine completely down. Mm -hmm. So now we're, as a technician, we're in an unsafe environment. We're laying on the floor and we're underneath this heavy washing machine trying to drop these assemblies. So it, it, is, it is more difficult inside the customer's houses because not everybody has a washing machine in a wide open basement where we have all the room in the world to work. And to go along with him not even having to move his machine, I mean, we're, we're tipping the unit back to get everything apart. Then we got to tip it forward so that way we can pull the inner tub out. Then we got to tip it back so that way we can get at the transmission and pull it out. Then you got to tip it forward again. So, I mean, you're up and down, back and forth so many times on these two outside machines here. It'll wear you out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 